Hello everyone. So I hope you remember. Already we done some ticket. If you remember the first one, the PC one cannot access the PC two and PC four. This one we already cover. This one is finished. Now we need to look second ticket. That is PC two cannot access PC four. Okay. If you see this is a PC two and he cannot access PC four. So now we need to check that one. So what I will do? I will go to the PC two. This is a PC two. Okay, and uh, let me check show IP interface brief. I have the IP address here one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot two. This is a PC two. Do we have the default gateway or not? Show IP root. I will write here. So we have the default gateway as this one. So everything is okay. I am using router as a PC two. Okay, router as a PC two. already we discuss about this one in our previous class if you are having any issue watch the old video you will understand what i use where i use okay so pc2 is good now let's see pc4 what is a pc4 let me log into the pc4 and let me check what is the ip for pc4 show ip interface brief we have the ip and show ip root we have the gateway also so everything is good Let's see PC two why it is not working with PC four. If you see this is a PC four, so I will write here ping. I will write the IP address of the PC four one ninety two one sixty eight ten dot three. Okay, it is not working. It is not working. Request timeout you will have. Okay, zero by five. so pc2 is unable to access pc4 so this is the second ticket we need to solve this one so how we can solve same thing as we uh, uh, done before if you remember we check the vlan we check the interface we check the trunk or not all this one we are going to check first of all we check the pc2 pc4 all are having the ip address and the gateway so after that we will check the switch so let me go to the switch 2 and then we will go to the switch 3 also So switch to if you see in the switch to, I will log in here. I will write show IP interface brief. So all the interface is up here for this switch, and I need to check the interface E zero by one is in the VLAN ten or not. So I will write show VLAN brief. If you see E zero by one is in the VLAN ten. So this one is good from here to here is good, and this should be trunk. So let me check show interface, show interface trunk. So this interface E zero by zero is the trunk. This one also good. So for the switch two no issue. We have the VLAN also. We have the trunk also. Everything is good. So now we will check the switch three. That is a gateway. We need to check the switch three. So let's go to the switch three. I will log into the switch three. I will write here enable. Then I will write show IP interface brief. And if you see we have the VLAN ten, VLAN twenty. We assign the gateway here. we have the svi for the vlan 10 vlan 20 and i will write here show vlan brief if you see here we have the vlan 10 and there is no port here if you see nothing in vlan 10 we don't have any port in vlan 20 we have one port so if you see here this port e0 by 2 should be in the vlan 10 but here if you see e0 by 2 is in the vlan 20 So this is wrong. That's why it is not working. So we need to move this port from VLAN 20 to VLAN 10. Then it will start working. Let me repeat again what I am saying. I am trying to ping. Okay, I am trying to ping from PC2 to PC4, but it is not working. Your manager told check why PC2 cannot access PC4. Ticket one we already finish this one. Now we are looking for ticket two. PC2 cannot access to PC4. So your manager told check that one. You check here the IP address and the gateway. Here also IP address and the gateway. Then you check this switch. You have this port particularly assigned in the VLAN 10. This one is in the trunk. So no issue. Here you check SVI is there. This port is in not in the VLAN 10. It is in the VLAN 20. That's why it is not working. So what we will do? I will move that into VLAN. 10 so how we will move we will write interface e0 by 2 why i am writing e0 by 2 because this is a e0 by 2 and after that i will write switch port mode uh, axis and then switch port axis which vlan vlan 10 okay after that it should work let me save the configuration and we will check show vlan brief 
so when i write show vlan brief if you see for vlan 10 this port move that is e0 by 2 move to the vlan 10 so now it should work pc2 should communicate with pc4 before request time out now let's see it should work let's see it is working or not if it is not working then we need to look the other issue also maybe we have any other issue okay so still it is not working let me try again yeah now it is working if you see now it is working so what is the issue for the ticket number 2 ticket number 2 is having the issue that e0 by 2 this port is not in the vlan 10 that's why they are not working so ticket number 2 is finished now we are going to do the ticket number 3 in the ticket number 3 what we need to do pc3 is unable to access the pc1 pc2 and pc4 we need to check this one why they are unable to access so that we are going to look later okay, that we are going to look later in our next class we are going to do that one the ticket number 3 we are going to do in our next class if you have any question anything write in the chat box or write in the youtube comments so we are going to help you and you can whatsapp us you can uh, download our app so in the app we, you can communicate with us you can chat with us okay so let's meet in our next class thank you bye